Hello, it's Katie Parker. We're going to be working on making this kind of this part of this necklace here. So, so this bit is kind of all done for us because we're going to utilise the knots that are already in this strand, which are beautiful and the colour coordination of the cord is fantastic. So, so we're going to utilise the clasps that are in the pack, which are toggle clasps. So I've just separated them for now. Don't remember, remember these are attached by jump rings, so don't throw away them because that's two extra jump rings. And we're going to be using some head pins to create this attachment here. So we're going to get straight on and look at the strand that we've got. So both of my strands came with a nice long piece on one side, so I would presume that yours will too. But if it hasn't got a nice long piece on one side, this is fine, this will work also, so don't worry about that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this longer side first, and then we're gonna take five gemstones, so those five there, and then I'm gonna cut it at this point over here so that I've got a nice long piece of thread over here to work on. So first of all, we'll come over to this side. Now, what you need to do is pass the toggle part, the ogle, the, the larger O, and I found it easier to rather than thread just to pass it over the knot and then just pull the rest of these through, like so. And then what we want to do is wrap this cord around. So I'm going to pull it through and turn it over and then hold everything in place like so, so that it's got a little bit of a wiggle movement, but um, so that we've got enough space to wrap our head pin through. Now for now, I want you to just leave the, the ball of the head pin on. We will be cut, cutting that off, but it actually gives you something to kind of grip onto. So we're just gonna pop that on there, and then it's just a matter of kind of holding everything together and wrapping around. Now it will feel a little bit fiddly just at first, but you, what you want is to get really nice tight wraps around, like so. So it's starting already. Okay, and keep wrapping around. And you want these to sit nice and next to each other. So you might need to come in with your pliers and just encourage them to sit. It's just because you're wrapping on something that's a, a fabric, it's kind of soft rather than wrapping around like we normally wrap around is a base wire. So just moving that along and just working it a little bit at a time. And what you'll find is you're kind of working up towards here and it will slide down towards the other end so don't worry if it's kind of getting tight at one point and that little um the ball on the head pin will help you also because it gives you kind of something to grip against and give those we don't want to squish them we want it to still stay round but we just want it to make sure that it's nice and tightly wrapped around so just a little bit at a time and just making sure that it's staying nice and neat at the back also and once you've got sort of four or five wraps round, that will be plenty for this to stay in shape. So I'm quite happy. Just get a little tiny bit further and I'm happy with that. So just making sure. I'm going to cut the, the ball off at this side. So I'm also going to cut the tail off of this side. So I'm just going to bring that round to the same side so that all our cuts are on the same side, like so. And then I can just go with my pliers and just not to actually squish it, but just to apply a little bit of pressure and kind of just set that in place. So we've got that nice wrap around there now. And I can turn this over and it's just a matter of snipping off nice and close those tail, the tail and the ball end and make sure that you don't um, nip the uh, actual threads as well. Now once you've got to this point, just go in with your pliers and just where that, that very end is, just give that an extra little squeeze and it'll just hide that out of the way and it'll disappear inside kind of the cords. There we go. So that, if I give that a really good tug now, it's really tight. So that's going to be in place and ready to connect the rest of our necklace to. And I'm just going to snip off our threads like so. If there's any kind of little fluffy bits left, you could use your um, thread zapper if you wanted to. But that is one side done. So I'm just gonna go show you how I cut the other side before I move on to just showing you finishing the clasp part. So like I said, I wanted five, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. And so this is the one that I don't want, but don't be tempted to cut it here. You need to cut it at this side over here. So we want to cut this at this point 
So making sure we've got our five, then one extra bead and then cut. And then that will give you this length to do the exact same as what we've just done on this side. So I'm just gonna pop this together and then I'm gonna show you how I just made a clasp out of the earring finding. See you in a second. So I've just jumped ahead and I've just really basically threaded my agate beads onto each side. So I've got 10 beads on each side and I'm just going to pop on my last crimp cover, my crimp bead here. So that's my crimp bead on and then you would put on a jump ring. So don't forget you can use those jump rings that were in between the uh, toggle clasp too. And then I'm going to thread this thread back through my crimp bead and through a couple of beads and pull that in tighter. So I just want to make sure that here, see my threads sticking out, so I just want to make sure I pull that back and my threads inside those first couple of beads and then pull everything together and just make sure it's tight, not too tight that it's not going to have any movement but tight enough to be able to um, move freely but uh, not be too kind of gappy between beads we don't want that so once you've pulled everything in together so I'm just gonna I'm actually just holding the thread there just so I can pull those back a bit and then I can just pull that loop just a little bit more there we go so I'm happy with that now and I can go in with my crimping pliers on the part that's got that little bite out of it so on the crimping part so we're just going to crimp that so it's got that little groove in it turn it over and then using the other part of our pliers the more rounded part I'm going to crimp that together so it forms a little bead again and I always give it a little squish on the end there as well so I've trimmed the ends from uh, my beading wire so this is all secure and all I need now is my clasp but obviously I used both my toggle clasps to create the detail on the on these uh, the sides of this necklace so I'm going to make my clasp from a earring wire so to do that I'm going to need a, a hammer and block just to strengthen it a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my pliers just in at the top of the spring part there I'm just going to smooth that out just a little bit not a lot because I don't want that spring to be able to pop around there but just changing that angle very slightly just makes it more um, clasp like rather than ear wire like and now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a very tiny amount so probably about three or four mils from the end of my uh, ear wire so I'm just cut that off because otherwise it will be a little bit too long and I'm going to use some round nose pliers and I'm going to use the very tip of these so we want this loop to be as small as possible so the very very tip so you might it might kind of flick off the end a little bit at first so just start turning that with your round nose pliers and grabbing the end and making this the smallest loop you can possibly get this is because we're going to go through that jump ring so it has to be able to pass through the jump ring that's on the very end so just check that that it will go through so, yeah it will go through there so now what I need to do is just kind of give this a little bit of a, a squeeze together and just make it more shaped in a little bit now we've got our clasp so it's not not that much different to any ear, ear wire it's just a little bit little tiny movements and that nice um, little loop on the end now what we're going to do is uh, work hard on this now and I'm going to work hard on it mostly off the um, the edge of the block but I don't I'm going to catch that very slightly the, the spring bit in a few seconds so all we do to work hard on is tap just little taps and it will make a huge difference to the strength of your wire so, and just making sure we've got plenty of strength in there and now just so that I'm going to fix just to stop this kind of moving around I'm just going to give it a little tap just over that it's only very very gentle a bit it'll help kind of set this wire to stop it kind of moving around that little coil 
Okay, so the only thing we need to do now is attach our clasp to one of the sides of our, our necklace. So we can open up our bottom of our earring finder, which is now a clasp, and pop on the jump ring there to attach, and then close. And that's our clasp attached, and it's ready to become a clasp, like so. So that's our necklace finished. And I hope you've enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching. Take care.